This is a very interesting problem. It says, show that the limit x approaches infinity for this function, which is within square root x square plus x minus x is equal to half. Okay. So that says, if we are approaching positive infinity, then this function should approach a value of half, right? Now here, because the radical function, the, we should do rationalization of the numerator, and that is going to help us to get the right answer. Well, that is the most critical step, and sometimes students get really lost, and they don't know really how to start with it. So let me do the rationalization of this, and then show you how to get this answer, okay? So we have here a limit, x approaches infinity, for the function square root of x square plus x minus x, right? So when you rationalize it, then what we do is we multiply and divide by its conjugate, correct? Now its conjugate is square root of x square plus x plus x divided by square root of x square plus x plus x. So, we, what we are doing is, we are rationalizing the numerator, correct? Now, this is like a minus b times a plus b. Now, when you expand it, you get a square minus b square, correct? Now, so, so the question is this, and therefore, this is equals to limit of x approaches infinity. And here we get a minus b, right? I mean, square of this minus square of that. So square of this will be x square plus x, right? And minus square of this will be minus x square, correct? Over this function, correct? Because this is like, right, this over 1, right? So we get one more times this. We get x square plus x plus x. So this is what we get, okay? Now, here, in the numerator, you can see x squared and x squared will cancel out and we are left with x. And in denominator, what we can do is that we can factor out x squared and then see what is left behind, okay? So that is how we are trying to do this question, okay? So, so let me write here, okay, okay, let me write here. So we will limit x approaches infinity so we have x in the top and look here when we factor out x square then square root of x square is what you should remember or look into my video which says square root of x square is so what is the square root of x square square root of x square is absolute x okay remember that part it is not just x now in this case when we have limit when x is approaching infinity in that case absolute x will be when the limit of this x approaches infinity then in that case this absolute x will be positive x okay but if it is going towards negative infinity then this will be minus x do you understand why is it so so let me remind you if I write here, for example, 7 square square root, so what do I get? I get 7, right? But if I write here um, minus 7 square square root, even then I get 7. Do you see that? And this 7 is actually negative of this. Do you see that? This is negative 7. So it is actually negative of this. Do you see that? So if it is approaching negative infinity, when x is a negative number, we'll actually get negative of this number, okay? Since this, see, this is negative 7, okay? And we got answer as 7 plus, negative of that number. So this is a very critical point to understand. Here, even if you do the mistake, you'll get the right answer. But in the test, if we are approaching minus infinity, you'll get minus half here. You know, that is a huge difference, I mean, okay? kind of something else what I'm trying to say is this will be different okay now here so as I said and explained you here we'll factor out absolute x for the time being right right and then within the square root what do I have when I factor out x square I'm left with 1 here plus 
when I factor out x square from x, I get 1 over x, right? This is what I get from here, and uh, plus x is here. Now, since now since x is very large value, 1 over x will tend to become 0, right? Since x is very large value, 1 over x will tend to become 0. Now, here what we can do is, we can actually factor out, now you know absolute x from here since we are approaching plus infinity, right? Since we are approaching plus infinity, this is x, right? So we can now write here as x from the numerator and we'll factor out this x here, right? And we're left with square root of 1 plus 1 over x plus 1. I should have used different brackets here, but that's okay now. Okay, so that is what we get. So these are very critical steps to understand, but I hope you, you, you understand now. Uh, so what I did was actually, because my absolute x is actually equals to plus x since we are approaching plus infinity, right? And therefore, I took x and x common from here, right? And I'm left with 1 here. Now I can cancel out these x's. Do you see that? So we have limit of x approaches infinity and we have 1 over this function, right? Square root of 1 plus 1 over x plus 1. Now we come to this. Now since x approaches infinity, 1 over x will approach 0, right? So, so now we can substitute because these terms have been cancelled out. So there's not, nothing called infinity over infinity here because those x's got cancelled out. So now we can substitute infinity and 1 over x, when x approaches infinity, will approach 0. Is that okay? Therefore, we get 1 over square root of 1 plus 1, which is 2, right? So we get 1 over within this square root of 1 plus 0 plus 1, which is equal to 1 over 2. And that is how we can prove that the limit of this function is equal to half. Okay. So these are some critical steps which you need to understand. Okay. I hope uh, you don't make mistakes. So this is this is what I've done on the right. And I'll still tell you, uh, I'll appreciate if you could look into square root of a square is equals to absolute x video and understand this part totally. Okay. Thank you.